Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Our lesson today is on multiplying rational numbers. Our objective is just that. You will multiply rational numbers. The essential question I have for you today and what I'd like you thinking about is how are multiplying rational numbers and multiplying integers similar? So really what I'm asking you is how can you use what you already know to multiply rational numbers? Let's review multiplication properties before we begin. The multiplication property of zero states that any value multiplied by zero will have a product of zero. So it looks like this. Any number a multiplied by zero equals zero. The rational number one half multiplied by zero equals zero. Rational number negative 7.36 multiplied by zero equals zero. So just as with integers or whole numbers, rational numbers also. Any number, any value when you multiply by zero equals zero makes it really easy when you see a zero in a product. Identity property of multiplication states that any value multiplied by one will be equal to itself. So any number a multiplied by one equals that number a. Let's try some with numbers. One third, a rational number, multiplied by one is still equal to one third. Negative 9.2, multiplied by one is equal to itself, negative 9.2. So these don't never hurt to review those properties. So be on the lookout for a factor of zero, the product will be zero. Look and on, be on the lookout for a factor of one and it will equal the other factor. So any number multiplied by one is itself, any number multiplied by zero is zero. Let's review our rules. They're gonna be familiar to you, multiplying rational numbers with the same sign. The same sign rule, just as using the same rules with integers, rational numbers with the same sign will have a positive product when multiplied. So if I have two positive factors, two positive values, multiplied equals a positive. Same sign, both positive, positive product. If the two factors are negative, when multiplied, you get a positive product. Same sign, positive product, just as they were with integers. Let's look at the different signs rule. The different signs rule is using the same rules as we did with integers. Rational numbers with different signs will have a negative product when multiplied. Positive multiplied by a negative factor equals a negative product. A negative factor multiplied by a positive factor is going to be a negative product. Different signs, negative product. Now, let's practice. We're going to find the product of negative one-third multiplied by two-sevenths. I'm going to make a plan. I have a negative multiplied by a positive. They have different signs. Seeing as they have different signs, I know my product's going to be negative. I always want to make a, myself a note so that I don't forget to answer with the negative. So now we're going to multiply our numerators. So we have 1 times 2, our numerator, over 3 times 7, our denominator. I'm looking for common factors between the numerator and the denominator, and there aren't any. So I'm just going to multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 7 is 21, and my product needs to be negative. The next one, we have two rational numbers that are both negative. Same sign, that means I'm going to make a plan that my product needs to be positive. Now I need to multiply my numerators. 2 times 1, all over 3 times 2. Looking for common factors. This has a common factor of two between the numerator and the denominator. So I simplify because two divided by two is one. We're left with one times one, which is one, and three times one, which is three, and it's positive, so one third. Now it's your turn. I would like you to find the product of each of these. 
hit pause, come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. Let's look at our solutions. I'm going to make my plan. I have a negative multiplied by a negative. Same sign means my product will be positive. Now I'm ready to multiply the numerators, 1 times 7, denominators 5 times 4. Looking for common factors, there aren't any. 1 times 7 is 7, 5 times 4 is 20. Second one, we have a negative multiplied by a positive. So they are different signs, my product will be negative. Now I'm going to set up my multiplication, multiply my numerators 8 times 1, multiply my denominators 5 times 5. Looking for a common factor between the numerator and denominator, I don't see any. So multiply 8 times 1 is 8, 5 times 5 is 25, and don't forget that negative sign, it's different signs, negative product. Let's practice with decimals. Let's find the product of negative 1.2 multiplied by 8.1. Different signs, make my plan, negative product. Now let's set up, we're going to line up our decimal points, our digits, not our decimal points here because we're multiplying. So two times one is two, one times one is one, eight, bring down our zero, eight times two is 16, six, carry the one, Eight times one is eight, plus one is nine. Now I'm ready to add, two plus zero is two, one plus six is seven, and nine is just brought down. Now I need to know where to place the decimal point, so I need to count how many decimal places are in the numbers I multiplied. The factors had decimal places of one, two, so I need to put my decimal point right here. I have to move it in two places. Now I'm ready to answer. My answer needs to be negative, so negative 9.72. The second one, we have negative 4.2 multiplied by negative 3. Both factors are negative, same sign, positive product. Let's set it up. 4.2, line up the 3, and we are ready. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Now I need to know where to put the decimal point. I have one decimal place in my factors, so I'm going to put my decimal point right here, 12.6, and when I go to answer, I know it needs to be positive, 12.6. Now it's your turn. Please pause, solve these, find the product of each, and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here's my plan. Negative 3.8 multiplied by negative 4.5. Same sign, positive product. Let's set up our work. 3.8 times 4.5. 8 times 5 is 40, so 0. Carry the 4. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4, 19. Bring down a 0. 4 times 8 is 32, so I need my 2 carry the 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3 is 15, and now I'm ready to add. 0 plus 0 is 0, 9 plus 2 is 11, so 1, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, and bring down our 1. Now let's go count our decimal places. 1, 2, we have two decimal places, so my decimal goes in two spaces. Now I got an answer and it's going to be positive. So my answer, my product is 17 point, you could answer 17.10 or you could leave off this zero, it's not significant. You could answer 17.1. Let's do the second one. We're gonna set it up. It's a positive multiplied by a negative, different signs. We're gonna have a negative product. 0 0.08, line up my digits here, not my decimal point. 8 times 4 is 32, 2, carry the 3. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 4 times 0 is 0. 
And then I can see here that I am going to have all zeros. I'm all done. But I'm going to add another zero because I can see I have three decimal places. So one, two, three. There goes my decimal point. You always want to have a zero to the left of that decimal point. And now we got to an answer and it's going to be negative. Negative 0 0.032 or negative 32 thousandths. Let's review our rules for multiplying rational numbers before I set you free. Multiplying the same signs. Remember, there's two rules. If both values, both factors are positive, our product is positive. If both factors are negative, our product is positive. Same sign, positive product. Multiplying with different signs. Just to review, positive by a negative is a negative. A negative by a positive is a negative. If the factors have different signs, their product will be negative. And there you have it. There's our rules for multiplying rational numbers. I hope you made the connection that it's the same for multiplying integers. And I hope this will serve you well. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we're mastering math one video at a time. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. And I hope to see you back here soon. Have a great day.